Now, we talked about uh, host ID, uh, we talked about network ID and host ID. So what are they? We saw what they are. They define uh, the number of networks in each class. But when you go to buy one uh, IP address, for example, you have a company and you want to buy one IP address. When you want to buy an IP address, they will give you the whole network. Meaning, if I want to have one address, they say, okay, we have got an address from class A. Uh, so we'll give you this address. Uh, let's say um, at.0.0.0. Now, the first part is the address that is assigned to an organization. The second part, meaning uh, the second octet, third octet, and fourth octet, are the parts that will change within that organization. Now, imagine that I want to buy an address. They tell me this is the address that we're going to give you. And this address is AT, and inside that, everything changes. So how many addresses will I get with this network address that they have given me? You guessed it, right? I will get something around 16 million addresses in my network. So 16 million addresses, imagine, in your network. Now, first part is uh, assigned to the organization. And the second part, as I told you, is the host part. Now, how can we know that uh, which part is the network part and which part is the host part in every network? For that purpose, we have something which is called subnet mask. If you look at every uh, address, you will see that this address is accompanied by, by, uh, uh, accompanied by, a, net, uh, by a subnet mask, meaning you have just one ad sub IP address. Exactly below that, you will see there is a subnet mask. Now, what is this subnet mask? This subnet mask defines which part of the address is the network address and which part of the address is the, uh, the host part of the address. Now, what does that mean? Let me explain to you. Before that, let's see uh, what is a subnet mask. How does it look like? If you look at the subnet mask, subnet mask has exactly the structure of an IP address. For example, here you can see that I have 255.0.0.0. So same structure, four different octets, and they are separated by three dots, like an IP address. Go to class B, the subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. Go to class C, 255.255.255.0. So this is uh, the guy who defines which part of the network is my uh, which part of the address is the network address and which part of the address is the host address but how it will define it for us let me do one thing uh, let me check it here okay let me convert this address to binary uh, if I convert this address for example the first one to binary I will get one two three four five six seven eight all ones here remember 255 means all ones 255 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if I convert this by this address to binary uh, you will see that I've got eight ones here and 24 zeros here let's do the same for class B it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because second part, I have 2, 5, 5. And then after that, I've got 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the class C, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Oops. Now, I have uh, converted these decimal addresses to binary address. So now you see that in class A, I have eight ones here, 24 zeros here, class B. 
16 ones, 16 zeros. Plus C, 24 ones and uh, 8 zeros. So how does it define my network part and my host part of the IP address? You guessed it. Let's come here and let me bring this to the next page. I want it here. Okay, so I, I guess I have to make this smaller to fit it in my page. Okay, now look at this. Class A, this is converted to this one, class B and class C. Now look at this table uh, from the past that we had from a few uh, uh, previous slides. Number of network bits in class A is 8. Look at here. Number of ones in subnet mask is 8. Number of host bits in class A is 24. In subnet mask, default subnet mask of class A, number of host bits is 24. The same thing, class B, number of sub uh, network bits is 16. You see that here I've got 16 ones. Number of host bits, 16. I've got 16 zeros. Number of network bits in class C is 24. Number of host bits is 8. So you guessed it, right? You can uh, now you can say that in the default subnet mask. Uh, remember that I emphasize on the default subnet mask. In the default subnet mask, number of ones means number of network bits, and number of zeros represents the number of host bits. So, class B the same thing, class C the same thing. That's how subnet mask defines which part of an IP address is network part and which part of the IP address is host part. By looking at the zeros in the subnet mask, I can see that how much of a network is, how much of an address is host part and how much of an address is its network part. So I've just I wanted to emphasize on that number of zeros in subnet mask represents the number of host bits. Okay, so since the number of zeros represents the number of host bits, how can this be useful to us and how I can uh, benefit from this one? Let's uh, look at the network that just now I mentioned. When you go to buy a network, uh, an IP address for your company, um, they sell you the whole network. Now, as we saw here, the whole network of AT, uh, this network, AT, is the network part of the address, and here is the host part of the address. Now, this address has got something around 16 million addresses. Now imagine that in your company you just have something around 400 or 300 clients as uh, such a big network I mean the medium sized network now medium now medium sized network uh something around 300 clients 16 million you buy that would be quite a lot, a lot of number that you're wasting. You know, if I want to give you an example to understand this uh, better, uh, let me get the page again. Okay, we come here. Uh, let's say one day you have had your lunch in a restaurant. You have had a, a pretty big lunch, and uh, you just came out of the restaurant. You're walking on the, down the road and. Uh, Suddenly, you look into a shop and you see that that is candy shop and sweet shop and you see a big chocolate cheesecake there. And you feel that, oh man, I want to eat this chocolate cheese, uh, cheesecake. So you just go in and uh, you see that, uh, let me put the chocolate cheesecake. It will be, for example, something like uh, this. You just go in. And uh, you look at the guy and say, hi, I just uh, want a piece of this chocolate uh, cheesecake. 
uh, and you look at the price at the same time you see that, that the price is something around uh, for example 60 bucks for the whole cake you ask the guy that uh, I just want a piece of this cake the guy says uh, no sorry we don't sell a piece of this cake the whole cake if you want to buy you see oh 60 bucks I'll pay for this cake I just want to I want to have a piece of that I cannot finish this cake and I cannot take it with myself uh, to home and put it in the fridge so I, it's not available at this time so either you have to pay 60 bucks and buy this cake and just uh, for example eat this much of the cake and throw the rest out or just forget about it then you decide that okay I'm gonna forget about it you come out you go to another shop and you see the same cake there same price you go in you ask the guy I just want to buy a slice of this cake will you sell it the guy says yes how much you want you say I'm gonna eat this much so please give me this uh, this big slice this much slice of the cake the guy says fine I give you this much and the price for this is uh, $12 it's fine reasonable so you pay $12 you get your piece and you come out right this is very cost effective this is your piece and you're eating it's very cost effective so the same thing is true for the network when you go and buy a network address when they sell you this big network of for example 80 it has 16 million addresses it's exactly like this cake you go there you say uh, excuse me I just have uh, 300 clients can I buy some a network uh, for something around 300 clients if they say no then either you have to forget about the internet or you have to pay so much buy millions of addresses and use 300 of that then no one else can use that address and you yourself are not going to uh, are not going to use it and it will be wasted so about the, uh, I, this uh, this this case that i told you is similar to this uh, this case is similar to this cake now when you want to buy this address the solution is like the second shop meaning they're gonna give you one slice they're not gonna sell you the whole uh, address of 80 with 16 million addresses so how they're gonna do that they're gonna use this subnet mask that I told you now imagine that for this network the subnet mask will be this 255.2 sorry 0.0.0 .0 this is the default subnet mask for uh, class A now if you convert this to binary let me clear up this or let me get a new page I might need this later um, so I write it again uh, big font uh, 80.0.0.0 and 255.0.0.0 now here is your subnet mask if I convert this subnet mask to binary I will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is it 8 1 2 4 6 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the address will be something like this now remember here I told you where was it uh, number of zeros in subnet mass represent the number of host bits now look at this number of zeros in subnet mass represent the number of host bits so if this is so if I reduce the number of zeros it means I've reduced the number of host bits so when I reduce the number of host bits it means I'll get less hosts in my network so how can I do that? 